last exercise right here, we're given a potential function. That potential function, well, well, we usually call it f of x, y, but also we call it phi, whoops, we call it phi of x, y. Let me make it look like a phi. Phi of x, y, all right? And, well, so they're asking us to sketch some level curves for this function. Well, that's something we have done at least, uh, well, we have done it a few times already when we did it at the beginning of the semester when looking at these curves and then we applied it when we were looking at the tangential and the normal. So let's do it one more time. So for, for c equals to zero, so, and in this case, again, recall that we said this equal to zero. So, we get x plus y squared equals to zero, and x equals to negative y squared. So, in this case, I'm solving for x, because it's easier to solve for x than rather than solving for y, because otherwise it would give us two equations, two solutions, and well, in this case, well, you'll see what's gonna happen here. So, number two, uh, c equals to two. That equal that makes uh, x plus y squared equals to two, and x equals negative y squared plus two. And number three for c equals to four. That's uh, x plus y squared equals to four, and that's x equals to negative y squared. Plus four. So let's sketch this uh, these curves. Well, y equals negative y squared. What's the graph of that one? Horizontal. It's a horizontal parabola. However, the negative well horizontal parabolas either open to the right or to the left. In this case, the negative sign indicates that it will open to the left. And let me use some uh, key points right here. Four, okay, so that's four and four. So that's gonna give us this parabola right here. And well, uh, negative y squared plus two, that essentially shifts the horizontal parabola to units to the right. So it's gonna look like this. And I'm gonna look a parabola like this and one more that's four units to the right so that's going to give us this set of parabolas right so three horizontal parabolas but now what are we going to do here for we're going to use this graph to verify what we looked at before that in this case uh, vectors that come from uh, from a gradient field are orthogonal to normal curves. So we're going to verify this by, well, first of all, find the associated gradient field. So all we have to do is, okay, number one, f of x, y equals x plus y squared, and find nabla of f. So that's uh, the gradient. And again, recall that the gradient of f is the partial derivative with respect x, which is one, comma, the partial derivative with respect y, which is two y. And in the same way that we plotted some vectors in the previous couple of pages last time, well, so we're gonna go to some random points and create some vectors. So let's have a look. Uh, I'm gonna look at the point four comma zero, three comma one, and zero comma two. So we're going to find the associated vector to that point. And by the way, nabla f of x, y, that's the vector field one comma two y. All right, so and again, um, notice the x, the x component is constant. It doesn't have any variables, so we can just write all ones for the x component of these vectors. However, it is the y component, the one that gets to be multiplied by two. So zero times two, that's a zero. One times two is two, and two times two is four. So we are going to plot these vectors, these three vectors, 
Okay, let me go back to the previous page, or rather to the previous picture. And well, so at the point four comma zero, we're gonna have the vector one comma zero. So go to the point four comma zero, and from there go one unit in the x direction and zero units in the y direction. That's gonna give us this vector. And at the point three comma one, let's go to the point three comma one which is a point in, the, in one of the parabolas, we're gonna have a vector one unit in the x direction, two units in the y direction, that means one and two. And that's gonna be, that's gonna be this vector here. And last but not least, one at the point zero comma two, and that's gonna be over here, which is also, okay, let me extend this graph right here, so to speak. And what are we going to have? Well, so that's the point, or rather the vector, one in the x direction and four units up. Now, do you see these vectors and their relation with the level curves? Do they look orthogonal for you? So that's the idea of this exercise, to show that result, show the definition that vectors in the gradient field are orthogonal to the to level curves, all right? And we would, it would be the same if we go to the point zero or one comma one, you know, so one comma two, so that'll be one, two. That's another vector that is orthogonal, but in this case, in, in, the, other, in the other parabola, all right? And you can do the same for every single level curve, all right? And,